Hello guys, in last tutorial we have learned about publisher subscriber model. Now we will learn routings in RabbitMQ. How to route message to particular subscriber. First of all, we should know what is routing. And why do we need it? First let's see what is routing. Whenever any message is published to exchange, if routing key is set to some value, then exchange decide based on routing key which queue or subscriber to send a current message. You can do same thing by publishing messages to different queues as well. Routing is an attribute which helps the exchange, to decide to which subscriber current message has to be sent. Here, in routing, you are publishing to same queue, and multiple subscriber has subscribed to that queue. In last tutorial, we used fanout for publisher subscriber model, where we sending to all subscriber. Here, we will filter message based on routing key. So that message reached to respective subscriber. Earlier we have used fanout exchange type, which broadcast the messages to all the subscriber. Now we will use direct exchange type. In direct exchange type, message goes to queue whose binding key, exactly matches the routing key of the message. In current demo, we will have two notification subscriber, which will be of type A and B. Currently I couldn't think of any specific name, so pick these. We can use based on our requirement, if we have two subscriber one for log, and one for notification. In current demo, we will publish the message to Q1 with routing key as A and next time routing key as B. So, routing key A is used, message has to deliver to subscriber A and when we use routing key B, it has to deliver to subscriber B. All other message which doesn't matches with routing key will be discarded. You can bind multiple key to same queue as well. Now let's move to demo. Let's see what we have built it in last tutorial. We have create one publisher and two subscriber. If we open and see sender project, we will see, we have used fanout to broadcast messages. Let's rename receiver project to notification A and notification B, for understanding better. These code which we are seeing now, you guys might be seeing same old code which we have built it for publisher subscriber model. If you haven't seen till yet, please do watch. Let's move forward. Let's create a property for storing exchange name. Currently we will name it as notification. Replace all hard code strings with this property. So it will be easier to change it. Change exchange type from fanout to direct. Let create a property to store routing key. Since it's a console application. We will ask user to give routing key each time we publish one message to exchange. Let keep allowed keys for better understanding. Once we get the value from user. Let's send as routing key to basic publish method. Till now we were not passing any routing key, so this parameter was never considered for any decision making. Let's double check each value and parameter. Let's code for one subscriber. Similar way we will create property to hold exchange name. Name it as notification. Now replace all hard code here as well with exchange name property. Since it's a notification A project. Let's bind queue with routing key as A. Print logs once task is over by specifying routing key name. So that it will be easy to understand when running all projects. Let's switch to another subscriber. Do same code there, only difference will be routing key. Rest all remains same. Remember to keep exchange type as direct. If exchange type is fan out, it will ignore routing key and will publish to all subscriber. I forget that I already used notification as exchange name. So for this demo I will use notification v1. So let's replace all exchange name with notification v1. Now let's build the solution and run all projects. So now 3 console window will be running. 
one for publisher and two for subscriber. Let expand in such a way that we will be able to see all three at once, and will observe message are sent to proper subscriber or not. Let's type rooting key as A, it will get published to subscriber who is having rooting key as A. When I will type rooting key as B, it will be shown in notification B subscriber. Let's send several times. I type something wrongly, I feel. Let retrigger again and observe the messages. We can play around as many time we like. Rooting key can be used when we have requirements something like this, where we have to keep sending messages to same queue, but wants messages to be processed, by specific subscriber, which might process based on rooting key differently. You can try multiple use cases and let me know what all way we are using it. Let's have a look at Rabbit MQ management portal. You will see notification v1 exchange is created which we have used in current demo. If you see bindings, you will see the number of subscriber listening currently. It has create some default queue name for this exchange. It is clearly specifying which queue is using routing A and B. The moment we send messages, it shows with little delay how much messages are being processed. That's all guys in this demo. Please like and subscribe.